Hey guys, you're back with Gus, and um, I'm just showing you how to install it on the Windows computer. This is the um, EUB 9603H uh, fries. It costs twenty dollars. Um, this is something I'd recommend that you would get if you're not necessarily at your house, but if you're somewhere out and about doing things. Um, I'll just show you the. Um, yeah, it's much more powerful. So let's get started. Um, here's my on a desktop or whatever. There's the regular card you got right there. And um, <clears throat> so I'm just proving you that I got a different card. I'm not cheating you or anything. Okay, so you will get a antenna, stock antenna. It's pretty small. I mean, not that big. Um, and then you, of course, got the box. Um, if you wanna pause the video and look at the back or something, looks like that. Um, you know, you can mount it on your computer. It comes with a little clip, which I dropped the clip. Oh, there it is. Okay, <clears throat> and you got this cord. You need two USBs um, to run the system. Cord goes up to the tiny little box. This is your actual box right here. Bam. Um, Windows 8. I love it. It's simple plug and play versus the Mac. Um, it does get warm. It does get warm, so keep that in mind. Um, and then I bought this little uh, TP link. Put them right next to each other. You can see that it's a little bit bigger. Uh, right there, bam. Uh, it needs your antenna needs to be capable for 2.4 gigahertz antenna only. So just for now, bam there. So like I said, um, simple plug and play. Um, if we go down to our Wi-Fi, uh, you can just see the difference in the amount of signal. So one thing I love about Windows 8 is that uh, everything it sections itself really out. Uh, when you first plug it in, you won't see. There's no um, windows that open or anything, unless you're using Windows 7. At that point, look over at the Mac, it's actually going to bring up a window, and you just use a window. <clears throat> so Windows 8 is awesome, or 8.1 or whatever. So, <clears throat> here's my card that's installed in my desktop. <clears throat> and, um, it's showing that it only has one connection, versus the Wi-Fi 4 is the box up here, and it's showing all these different connections from my neighbors that you can take essentially and it's just simple you just automatically um, connect and open up your browser and use so very simple um, very cheap twenty dollars like I said the antenna cost me ten bucks at fries they told me that's the best combination for portability um, if you're looking at desktops or you want to be at home definitely go for a little more expensive ones I've, I've seen better ones um, if you're on a budget it's perfect um, I'm saying you can do it with the stock antenna if you want. It doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to add. So, yeah, we're looking at one signal on my regular one versus all these on my other ones. Granted, I don't, I bought a cheaper 801 card for my, for the Beast. Um, I'll show you videos on the Beast later, um, how I made it and stuff, and, um, read stuff together it's, it's pretty funny but uh, hey uh, definitely rate subscribe um, once again here's what the box looks like um, on the Mac I noticed that that box actually runs a little bit slower so gaming and stuff wouldn't recommend it but hey, if you just want to check emails or you just want to have Wi-Fi on the road just watch maybe some movies maybe streaming might be the max um, but yeah so uh, rate and subscribe and thank you very much and this is Gus.